Robin Lobb is 52 years old and has suffered three cardiac events. I felt like I had a bad chest cold and I'm looking all around my apartment for some icy hot to rub on my chest and then I realized I couldn't push the bathroom door open. He received a stent implant two years ago to prop open his artery, but he wishes there would have been more discussion about other options. And they say, uh, we have to tell you the risks. It's one in a thousand that something could go, you know, terribly wrong, which just leaves you, like, scared. A study released this weekend looked at more than 5,000 patients, all with ischemia. That's when a coronary artery narrows and blood flow to the heart is reduced. It can cause periodic chest pain. Researchers found stable patients treated only with medication and lifestyle changes were no more at risk of a heart attack or death than those who received stents and bypass surgeries. For the roughly 25% of patients who undergo these procedures electively, who have no symptoms, we should really stop doing that. The study doesn't apply to people who are suffering from a heart attack or who have chest pain at rest. And surgery could still improve someone's quality of life. Those procedures help control symptoms, but I think it's important for patients to understand that it's safe not to undergo these procedures. This Montreal cardiologist is not surprised. He says some cardiologists have been going in that direction. I think that doctors and patients should always have a conversation to really understand why we're doing this procedure. I think there's a lot of patients who think that they're going to live longer if you unblock the artery. And I think what we see from this data is that that's not the case. Those conversations will continue to evolve. Researchers plan to follow the study participants for another five years to see whether results shift over the long term. Jayla Bernstein, CBC News. Montreal.